Like I, like my, my brain, like God's design for the nuclear family is literally everything. It's the center of everything. It's, it's, if you look at every statistic on being a a healthy, like, um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, like every statistic on health or the opposite of that, you, you see that that statistic reigns in the nuclear family for the kids, for the parents, for, for everything. Like, like when we deviate from man, woman, mother, father, children, marriage union, no sex outside of marriage, like, and you deviate from that, like the family breaks down, everything else breaks down. Every stat, look at it, look it up. Suicide, look it up. Depression, look it up. Medication, look it up. Fatherless homes, look it up like success of children, incomes, education, every single Drugs, one. jail. When you deviate from that design, it's perfect. It's not, it's not walls of a prison, it's protection. Yeah. And that's like what people don't understand is like, and, and you know, and like when I was growing up, it was like, it was like, you know, everyone's chasing girls, everyone's chasing whatever. And then, yeah. and then for me, like I came, I came to believe in God as like, I grew up and like, kind of like, oh, there's, there's probably God, you know, but didn't follow, didn't really know Jesus was. Yeah. Right. And I, I came to God because I had all the things the world said you should have. Mm-hmm. And it was completely empty. Like that's my, like my salvation story is, is having all this. And that's when you like, start, I, that's when I started to realize, and I was actually reading Proverbs this morning. Right. And Proverbs is like, if, if you're an entrepreneur, it's so juicy. It's so good. It's like just just nuggets of like, like your mind is, is blown. Like I, I was just reading you one before we got on yeah. here. Um, and, and so I'm so big on, man, like when you just said the age our, my kids are right now was like what my parents split. Mm-hmm. Like my brain was literally like, holy crap. Like I couldn't even imagine that devastation. Like just the pain that that would cause. And my heart breaks. Yeah. My heart breaks for, for broken families. And I made this post on Facebook and it is so controversial. I said, if you don't believe in the Bible, you shouldn't get married. And it was like, oh, it erupted and people were so angry. And we were together when we made the post. Yeah. Cause I was like talking about, I was like, you can say things in a way that will get people to say the same thing, but yeah. no one will care. Like marriage is a good thing for your family. Yeah. Or, or if you... Biblical marriage is, is that'd still be kind of crazy. The best right? design but, or whatever. Yeah, but like you said it in a way that would yeah. just drum it I, up. And I, like, basically, I basically said it was like, smoke it was out like the ants. I literally threw dynamite in yeah. like to smoke. Yeah, it was, it was like, if you don't believe in the Bible, you shouldn't get married. And people like freaked out. And the reason why is because it fails without God's foundation. Because yeah. it's, an, it's a biblical construct. Right. And like all the arguments and I won't get into all that that people had, it was like, there was nothing that was valid. It was like some good points and thoughts, but like, ultimately we're going to fail at marriage if we don't understand the construct of the covenant of marriage and the mutual submission. And if we're not equally yoked. And so I just, I just wonder why do people get married? Because if if I'm me and I'm like, okay, I'm going to like choose to be with someone the rest of my life and follow this construct. Why am I doing it? Is it because everybody else is doing it? Yeah. That's maybe why. Um, and, so, and so like when you study the construct and you understand it's a biblical construct and you understand the, the, the meaning of it and how it's supposed to operate and how the woman operates and how the man operates from a biblical standpoint, like you can have success and fruit in your marriage. But if you don't have those operating rules, it's extremely difficult to make it work. And by the way, I, I will say, like, Christians have just as bad as a divorce rate yeah. as, as people who are secular. And so the argument is just, like, most Christians don't follow the Bible and don't know it. Yeah. So, so it, it, it stirred the pot for sure. But, but man, when you think about, um, I think about all the devastation in families, it's like that nuclear family, that the enemy is trying to destroy the nuclear family. And and he's succeeding, right? And destroying it through divorce, through pornography, through fornication, through the gender movements, through like changing yourself and not, not being who God made you in his image, right? All of that impacts the nuclear family. All of